to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger. Today we are here in Winooski at the Heritage Winooski Mill Museum and it's Fiber Fair Friday. We are featuring loads of local artisans and let me tell you, the crafts are amazing. <laughs> you want to go around and touch and feel and wear and get ideas from people. It's my tribe, right? Like it's my way to connect with people who have a similar interest and this passion that we all have. My mom loves to knit too, so I figured this would be a good place to pick up some Christmas presents for her. Ooh, like I need new hats. <laughs> Bringing some local fiber artists into the museum exhibit space, which brings together the story of the mill, which is a textile mill that was built here in Winooski in 1912, with some of what's going on in the community here today, which is the mission of of the museum. It's really neat to be here in this building <laughs> with my hand spun yarn in 2019. <laughs> the Winooski River is right, right out the window right there. It is what powered and made possible a textile industry here in the 19th and 20th century. These mills like made Winooski what it was and I think when we're starting to do more buy locally and think small instead of globally like there could be lots of cool things that could happen in these old spaces. And wool is part of our farm. Our sheep graze around our vegetable farm. We have a diversified organic farm in Grand Isle. A lot of people are like, wow, you farm the sheep and you do the wool part of it too. Wool is such a great fabric and it can go out in the rain, it can go anywhere and it's sustainable and it doesn't give off greenhouse gases. And if it goes into the landfill, it's gonna break down or you can compost wool, whereas polyester, it's going to be forever. It's plastic. I think the more natural fibers we all wear and craft with and make with is, is a good thing. Being able to be self-sufficient and if you can produce things with your, with your hands and with natural fibers, that's a skill that you can carry with you. You don't have to rely on other people. I think people are really excited about all the different fibers that are available and being produced locally. I make macrame. It's a series of knots. It was most popular in the 70s and is making a comeback. Being a fiber artist is all about working with your hands. I work primarily with cotton. My favorite part of macrame is the fibers are pretty much my only material. I can do it pretty much anywhere. I like the simplicity of the materials. I am the New Yorker. <laughs> I'm a fiber artist. I dye and spin yarn. It feels like this is something that I have to do. It's like in my genes. We don't manufacture a lot of stuff locally here now, but we do still have a connection to textile manufacturing here. So we have the amazing like Darn Tough sock mill. We have Vermont Teddy Bear. We have all of these amazing folks here today. And so there is this sort of heritage. And the other thing about the mills here is that they brought in workers from all over the world. And that is true of the population in Winooski today, too. There's a through line for this town in that history of immigration. I'm just blown away by how young all the children were that worked in the mill here. I see girls that are my daughter's age, my daughter Sadie, who's 11. Many of the photos that are here at the Mill Museum feature children that worked here. Lewis Hine took pictures of them in the early 1900s. We still have child labor issues going on today. Because of a lot of our manufacturing has been moved overseas, we still are dealing with issues like forced adult labor as well as child labor within a lot of the textile industries. Peace and Justice Store carries fair trade products from the global south as well as local and educational products. We focus on fair trade because it is an economic justice program. Like I do think it's important to try and promote fair working conditions whenever possible. So this this gives us an opportunity to consume ethically as well as celebrate our communities. Absolutely, shopping local is where it's at. When someone buys something from me, I'm part of their creative process. Every single knot is hand tied with intention and gratitude and you get a piece of their heart with whatever you're purchasing. This season, shop local, and we will get stuck in Vermont for you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. Ah, now I gotta do some shopping, but not really, because my meter just ran out. I love this floor. <laughs> right, and I think about like the, like the scarring, like what made that scar on the floor? I was looking at these pictures, and one of them, this one right here, 
has a little girl named Sadie on it and my daughter's name Sadie and I was just like whoa like were we supposed to be here today or 